probably could speak for everybody here that we have family members who are still lost and uh, many of us have reached out to them in one way or another in trying to preach the gospel. And for those who have rejected the gospel and we still have interaction with them, um, do you have any wisdom on what that should look like? You know, for instance, I have a brother who's a practicing homosexual, another brother who's a Muslim, things like that. Um, once you've already made it clear what the gospel is, where you stand, what would that interaction look like, some wisdom? Yeah, that's, that's a really hard one. Um, but I think, I don't think it's right to cut people off. Just well, let's say sometimes people think, well, I've talked to them about the Lord and they're homosexual and I don't even want to go be around them and that kind of thing. None of that is right. So we, we have an open door. We we shower love on them, but we they they need to know where we stand on things, and there may be times to bring it up again and say, you know, I know I talked to you about this. I don't want you to feel like I'm riding you, but I'm just so burdened for your soul. Uh, I mean, it's so hard to know what's too much, and I mean, my my own mother. I talked to her for hours and hours. But towards the end of her life, I didn't talk to her very much. And I think I went a little too far. I wish I'd said more. But sometimes you just know that if you say anything more, you're just going to create more problems. And you're not going to, you've just got to look to God to do something. So when it comes to like family gatherings, Thanksgiving, you know, seeing dad on the weekend, things like that, um, and the talk is just trivial and your heart is just really burden for the like is that a situation where you know like you know just that that tension i guess yeah. what kind of yeah that's this is a thing of the part of what the law of christ has to do with is just crying out to to god to show us by his spirit what to do aw tozer was burdened for his mother and he thought through all that he was going to say to her and then he came into the room and he he just lost it all and burst into tears and said, Mom, you're lost. And that, you know, just the love, I mean, the love's going to come through more than anything we say. Uh, but I just, I feel like if if we're praying for the person, if we're burdened for them, we're going to know what to say when we're supposed to say it. And it's just nothing that you can formulate. <clears throat> 